Hey guys, it's Nick, also known as Zippy Zombo. I am doing this video just for anybody that's new to fire alarms and wants to wire up a switch like this. So, in this video, I am basically just going to be explaining how you wire the switch. Just for those beginners or people that just have had these for a long time and want to have a switch. I don't know. Something like that. But anyway, so what you'll need is a switch. You can also use a light switch. I think it's the same concept. Then you'll also need, obviously, a fire alarm and power supply. So, whenever you have all that stuff, which obviously you should have a fire alarm and a power supply ready, you take your switch, you take the wires that come off your power supply. Mine is off a printer, so I had to hot glue these wires onto it. So, the plus from the power supply, last stuff to remember, the positive wire coming out of the power supply, which in my case is white, generally it could be red, that's what I wanted to use, but I didn't have any. Let me untangle this while I can do it. Okay. Anyway. So, you take your positive from your power supply and you connect it to... You have to use the middle circuit on these. Or I don't know if it's a circuit, but the middle connection has got to be one of them. Your middle connection on your... Um, on your switch, um, I can't remember the technical name for this. I knew it before, but I forgot what it was. You're going to take the middle one with the wire, and you're going to connect it to the positive on your power supply using a wire nut. I'm going to have to set the camera down and do this. Like this. You don't want to get them all where there's not wires sticking up everywhere. Take your wire nut. Screw that in. Make sure it's tight. Okay. Now that you have that, you see, comes off the power supply positive. Comes up to here and goes to the middle one here. Then you're going to take the other wire that's going to come off from either on switch. In this case, it's that one. It can be either one. Unless you have a two position switch, then there's only going to be one option. But mine is a two position, which isn't necessarily perfect for this, but it works. You just have one that doesn't do anything. Like if I flip the switch that way, well, if I can, if I flip it that way, it's not going to do anything. But if I flip it that way, it will. It's cross. Whichever way it's pointing, it's going to the opposite one. So then you're going to take your wire from that side, and you're going to wire it to the positive, which, see, I have my CH70 wired with two going into the chime, two wires going to the chime, and then two little wires split out and go to the strobe, so that makes it a two-wire connection. So anyway, then you're going to take the wire from here, the white one in this case, you can see that, the white wire, I'm going to wire it to the positive, got a hair from the floor on it, okay, anyway, you're going to wire it to the positive on your alarm, okay, positive, hope you guys can see okay, Put that in there, and then you tighten the screw with a screwdriver. I wouldn't recommend an automatic one like I'm using, I just don't have my uh, manual one up here with me, so. There we go, nice and tight. Definitely don't want to strip those screws out. Okay. Then you have your switch wired. I'm going to go over it myself. I'm pretty sure I did this right, but I'm going to make 100% sure. Okay, so my positive, here, let's go over it again. 
my positive from my power supply is going to go into the middle switch selection piece on here, on the position switch. And then it's going to go to the other part of the switch, and it's going to go out to the plus on your alarm. And then the negative from the power supply is just going to go straight to the negative on the alarm. It doesn't have to pass through a switch. So after you connect all that, and you plug it in and give it power, then whenever you flip this switch, it'll work like that. And then whenever you turn it off, it's hard to do, it'll stop. On, off. And as you probably saw in the video that I'm actually uploading right now, see? My dad's laptop. It's, I have this switch in this. So, I would recommend doing that so you don't have to worry about getting some kind of wire. And it makes it easier to flip it too. So, I would recommend putting it in something like that if you have it. So, that's about it. I'll go over it one last time. Positive from your power supply goes and connects here. And it goes to the middle switch on your flip switch. I just call it a flip switch, I guess. And then another wire comes out from either side. You pick. doesn't matter. just depends on which way. If you do the top one, the switch is going to go down in this case. If you do the bottom one, the switch is going to go up. See? And so then you take the wire from whichever one you pick. And it goes over here. And it plugs into your positive. And that's about it. The reason I actually connected this during the video is because I know a lot of people don't. They just have it done and they explain it. And I was trying to figure out how to do this. And I actually had to have somebody do a certain video response for me. It was Rano Kabat that did it. So that way I would know how to do it. Because everyone else just explains it. They don't actually do it. And he somewhat did it with a drawing. Because he didn't have one of these. So I thought... I, I was going to connect these, but they're really hard to get in and out. As you can see, there's some that actually stick up right now. So that's hard to do. So I connected it all to the fire alarm like this. I figured it would make it easier for some of you people to understand. Because I know that I myself was confused when trying to look up videos on this because people were just explaining it. They weren't actually connecting it. So that's how we do it. Here, I'll turn it on one more time. I hope this helped, and thanks for watching.